Hey guys, well once again, the discussion on the case of Christopher Watts presents an opportunity to learn even more about human behavior. I posted a video yesterday basically listing many of the dates that Shannon Watts herself posted that both children or both kids are sick again. The video could have been much longer, much longer. In fact, there probably will be a follow-up video to that one that will be much longer. To delve in a little deeper even to issues such as why was it that within just a matter of a few months, Bella and Cece were taken to three separate hospital emergency rooms? Why? I don't know. If you live in an area that has, you know, medical services available close by, why would you be going to three separate emergency rooms? And one of those was actually just a few days after a previous one. So if you rushed your kids to the emergency room, and then a few days later you had to rush them back in, Presumably, you know, they were still suffering because, you know, both kids were sick again. Doesn't it make sense you would have taken them to the same emergency room that you went to just a few days before? It seems to me that you would. So this is what I want to say. After posting that video, all of these haters, you know, well, probably only one or two, but all of these fake profiles are posting all these crappy comments. Verbatim, by the way, to the comments that were posted back in 2018, 2019, 2020, and earlier this year. You know, karma's going to get you. You're evil. You're... What? Whoa, 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 whoa. If telling you about the dates that Shannon Watts herself posted that both kids were sick again makes me evil? I'm thinking that whoever's behind those fake profiles, well, let's just say he or she was never king of the debate team in high school. I kind of wonder if they even went to high school. Just saying, you know, it's the spelling thing. Because usually by high school, you know how to spell. So here's the thing. If I'm making a video talking about the fact that poor little Bella and Cece were little pin cushions during their short and tragic lives, how does anyone think for a second that karma's not going to love that? Seriously. I think the karma juju is going to be really good, quite frankly, when somebody has the guts to stand up against the scumbag attackers to say, hey, wait a minute, society, how could we have done better in this case to protect two children from being pincushions all of their lives? What are the warning flags? What are the best case scenarios, right? When you notice or when you know that a friend or relative is using their child as a pincushion. How do we promote awareness on what appears to many of us to be a very real problem with this case? And I'll tell you why. Because of Shannon Watts' own words, we know that she gave the girls lots of Tylenol. Because of Cindy Watts' own words, we know that Shannon insisted that the girls have Benadryl and Tylenol every day at 6.30 p.m. and that they be put to bed for 12 to 13 hours straight. We know from Shannon Watts' own words that... They went to a lot of doctors and a lot of specialists and a lot of hospital emergency rooms. We also know that they were healthy 
while staying with other people. Yeah, Munchausen by proxy, also known as medical abuse or factitious disorder or child abuse, is a very serious issue and one that deserves to be discussed. And this case, the case of Christopher Watts, sure as hell looks like it's a prime example of what can happen when two children are allowed by society to be used by their mother as pincushion. But here's the thing. I can sit here and say, OMG, those poor little girls, those poor little girls and all they suffered through. Oh my goodness. One doctor after another, surgery, treat, what, breathing treatments and what, rectal temps? Are you kidding me? We can go on and on and on about all of the evidence that Shannon Watts herself provided for the public to see and that her death provided for the public to discuss as that propelled her clearly upon the public stage of being the subject of a tragedy, which in my opinion, the public has a duty to discuss in order to learn from this case so that we can better protect other children in the future who deserve to be safe in their own homes. But if I sit here and say, look at this, you guys, oh my gosh. So she's saying she's in Indiana going to the hospital day after day after day, right? I think it was April, maybe it was May in 2016. And then all of a sudden, June 22nd, 2016, boom, here we go, off to the races. Both kids are sick again. Both kids are sick again, over and over again. Those poor babies were carted off to the doctor's office. For what? For a diagnosis? For what? For a paycheck? You don't care about that? Then before you post any karma crap on this channel, you might want to think about the karma crap for yourself. Because on this channel, we do care about what poor little Bella and Cece suffered through. We do care about advocating for children's rights. It's something we're not ashamed of, and it's something that we're not making any excuses for, just like we don't make excuses for child abusers on this channel. And here's the thing. If I'm sitting here saying, oh my gosh, what dose is lots of Tylenol? Okay. It doesn't mean I'm bashing a dead woman. I mean, fill in the blank. It doesn't mean I'm in love with Christopher Watts. It doesn't mean that I'm jealous of Shannon Watts, to which I keep saying, jealous of what? Let's see. Her husband was leaving her. She was broke. She died. And evidently the name she had picked out was the same name as her husband's lover. But really? Jealous of what? It doesn't mean that I'm a fangirl of Christopher Watts. It doesn't mean, what was that comment the other day, that I'm wanting to become familiar with his genitals? Are you kidding me? I couldn't believe it that the scumbag attacker actually spelled genitals right. But at the same time, are you kidding me? Are the scumbag attackers only able to think in all or nothing terms? Are they not able to consider this case and say, hey, wait a minute. There are some glaring issues here that are richly deserving of our attention and concern. Seriously. How can we do better as a society? How can we better protect other children in the future? And again, if you don't care about that, then shame on you. And, you know, keep your karma crap to yourself. And this whole idea that it's going to come knocking, are you kidding me? Do any of you scumbags realize that this has been going on for nearly three years, that you've posted the same old crap? 
you know, just last night, another channel creator actually posted smack on my channel thread. And I didn't even know it. Another member here pointed it out. I didn't even know it. But she called me a bitch. And I didn't even know it. And you want to know why I didn't know it? Because I didn't know that younger people go B with a capital B. And that's supposed to mean bitch. I had no clue. It was actually a woman who's about a decade older than me. Who's a hell of a lot more savvy than I am about all this internet crap. Who told me. My point about that is, it's kind of hard for you to insult me when I don't even speak your language, okay? I don't. So all of your karmas come and knocking and all that shit, that's your language, not mine. My language is about advocating for children's rights to be safe in their own home. My language is about standing up to the bullshit and getting on with the discussion. And my language is about laughing at you when you try to tell me that any of us here are in love with Christopher Watt. Do I think he's the total monster that the scumbag attackers want everyone to say he is? No, I don't. I think he was a doormat husband. And I think he was a doormat father. And I think he failed his children big time. Do I think that Shannon Watts was some sort of shiny saint? No, I don't. I think she spent her family into disaster not once, but at least twice. And I think she had a whole lot of secrets that were about to surface. And I think that she decided that that wasn't going to happen in her lifetime. I don't believe that the case of Christopher Watts is an all or nothing, black or white, any person's way or the highway type of case. I think it has all sorts of angles and areas that should be discussed because two little girls lost their lives in what should have been the safety of their own home. And if you don't care about that, well, from what I'm hearing from the younger set, you better watch it because evidently karma likes to show up, I guess, on a Monday morning. I'm not sure. Everyone have a great week.